Okay, here we go again. Welcome back, everyone. Um, was it worth it? Yes. <laughs> it's such a silly feeling of satisfaction to see those transcoding options there. Um, welcome on in. I appreciate you guys' patience. Or, or maybe y'all are just trying to sneak in that extra community goal donation. That's also fine. Let me send out Discord and Twitter before I forget about them. Um, and of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. So there's the tweet. I had this realization and then I was like, why in the world didn't I think of this earlier? That like I can just very easily do like a little snip of like this for a little Twitter thumbnail. Like I don't have to take a picture of it. I don't have to post from my phone. I can just take a little screenshot. <laughs> I was like, bing, and I like you. It was one of those ideas that made me feel so smart, and then it made me feel so dumb because I could have thought of that so long ago. Hey, math. So you guys, okay, maybe maybe my tea doesn't fit there. For anybody who wasn't here yesterday, what we are dealing with here is holo, holo taco, multi-chrome basically color shifting polish if you're not familiar with a multi-chrome like at different angles they're different colors so it the, you know they're very hard to describe there might be a predominant color at a certain angle but a lot of times even what you guys are seeing is is quite different from what i'm seeing from my angle but um they're all fabulous i like them all a lot this one is my favorite because it's turquoise and purple and like good things oops and i also like slobbed on it like not literally like but like <laughs> i was trying to do some brush porn for you guys and oh look at that it's like pink at the top corner and turquoise at the bottom corner and it's just like <gasps> yeah that's my favorite. <laughs> hey, Anne. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys those. I just, I was like, I should have been going to sleep, obviously, like at that time of morning or whatever you want to call it. And I was just like, let's top coat my water marble tests. And I was like, well, I got to do it now. It's not going to take that long. So I like top coated all of them. And uh, the one that was on the white base actually started growing on me a lot. This is the blue. The blue is more subtle, but it's like it's still it's still got a personality. I like the blue a lot. The blue is also very intense. And the formula is a little bit more opaque, a little bit thicker than the others. Especially when I was water marbling with them. Like even the way that it drops is a little bit different. Hey Lorca. Hey Flamingo. <clears throat> Excuse my voice again. Feeling a little bit hoarse. Feeling like more hoarse. Okay, water. I have tea and I have water. I think that'll be a little bit better. Um, the green is probably like another one of my favorites. Like, it's hard to pick if it, this is like favorite, favorite, but then it's hard to pick like a runner up because there's, there's definitely aspects I like about all the other ones. This is also like a more subtle one, but like the, the, the shift from the khaki green to like the peacock green. Mm. So yesterday, we took those and we did some water marble testing. I'm going to keep them on the tray just so I can keep them in order because that helps me remember what I did for each of them. And I ended up like top coating them. And of course, like now there's like a whole bunch of glare for the camera. But mm. 
try to give you guys an angle where you can see, but it's not like too much, too much glare. That was the initial one. We did a couple swirly ones and then we kind of settled on the spirals, but like, look at this like over, over white spiral. Like once it's top coated, like it really brings, especially at certain angles, like at some angles, it looks almost just like it's a gray and a blue and it's kind of boring. And then like you get it at this other angle and like it really pops with like a, a very rainbowy iridescent sort of a vibe. Mm, like it almost changed my mind. Almost. Um, which one was in the picture with it? Probably this one. Um, versus like over black where it's just like very intense also. I mean like also a rainbow vibe, but like a different sort of a dark vampy rainbow vibe. Ooh. Oh, camera. You had it. There we go. The other question too is like so some of these have a very distinct, it's kind of interesting because like this one had more like a green and blue popping in the center. Oh, of course it too, it depends on the angle. Like I'm still not sure, like I thought I knew what I wanted, but I don't know that I have a favorite. And then, of course, like, depending on how you draw it, like, sometimes you can get a spiral that looks more like this sort of a spiral than, like, that sort of a spiral. I don't, I, like, <laughs> the only, like, I just, I have to, how do, I, how am I supposed to pick between this? How am I supposed to pick between like, like this just lovely, just melt of color here, camera. Like it just, just like that top section, just like hits all the, all the good feelings versus like, you know, this one where it's like a little bit more subtle, but then the spiral is more, is more detailed and intricate. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And, and, and in addition to like picking between these, are we going single finger dip? Are we going double or even triple finger dip? Am I going to like use, like, do I want spirals on every single finger, which necessitates 10 cups? Do I want a spiral on an accent finger? Do I not want to go for the spiral at all? Or do I just want to concentrate on like the sides? Like, look, like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, that was like an extremely long rant <laughs> about something that doesn't even need to be ranted about. I, hello, anybody that I missed saying hello to. Yeah. And then there was this one, which had some bubbles and you can see the bubbles, but this also had a green base and the green did like pop out more in some angles, none of which the camera wants to help show. Okay, there we go. Ignore the, ignore the big bubbles, but you can see it kind of switched up the way the colors read. And then I thought to myself, do I want to test every single one as a base color? And I was like, no, like this is already like quite a bit of testing. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I want, I want to revisit this too. Okay. So peep this. Like, what if we did like hollow under or on top of that? Like, what would that look like? Like it already looks like opalescent, like a gem or something. Or like, I don't know. Late, like layering something with this and making it even like more interesting. We're we're doing the dark version today. To be clear, as fascinated as I am by uh, the rainbow vibes that that one's giving off, we're doing we're doing the dark version. Also, hi sun, hi amethyst. Did I say hello ragdoll? I don't even know. Mm. 
So yeah, like every single one of these tests was good. Even like the swirly ones, even this one that turned out like stripey. Camera. Like it's not exactly what I want, but it's, it's kind of cool. And the size of the spiral too, like the size of the spiral. Okay, so if we compare like these two, camera. You know, can you see how much tighter the spiral that's on, well, you guys is right, is from the one on the left and how that like impacts the swirls? Like, I, I, I like both. This is another good, like, contrast. In, in this case, the one on the left is way tighter of a spiral than the one on the right. Wait, this left one or the previous left one, I go? Did you mean this left one? So you guys are liking kind of the, the less tight spiral also. Yeah, I've got a couple instances of that. Yeah, the tight spiral is so cool. You like the tight spiral too, son? See, like, like how am I supposed to pick? <sighs> Yeah, the, 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 like, the, uh, the, like, they seem like, yeah. I mean, this one I feel like is a really good example. Like this, this one, like you barely notice the green until you get like more toward the outer layers. Whereas this one, the green is still a little bit hard to read, but it reads more. Oh, camera. Mm -hmm. the green I'm str I'm struggling to get the green to read properly too in several of the in several of the combinations but then sometimes too I'm like maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at it and the green is fine and it's me um I'm, I'm, I feel like I've like, part of me is just like, okay, you literally can do no wrong. Just like pick, pick it and go. <laughs> hey Luke. Like part of it's just like pick it and go. And part of it is like, you probably should do just a little bit more testing. Should I do a little bit more testing? Okay, let's. Let me fill up my cup. Hold on. Hi, Ben. How you doing? Mm. Or... Sometimes I get caught up on like consistency or using the same combination for every cup or stuff like that. I could, um, actually let's save this. No need to mess that up yet. We'll just use this one. It's already messed up. Um... I mean, I could alternate the way that I'm dropping the colors and not try to go for consistency at all and just have them all be different and not have to pick a favorite. There's five colors. I could do five orders for each finger. Like, honestly. Honestly. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> and part of me is like, that's extra. And part of me is like, that makes a lot of sense. And part of me is like, that's super dumb. I feel like this black marker has partially recovered after heavy usage last night. It's like a little bit darker again. It was getting pretty faint there at the end. Okay. Get these open. I'm sorry. I was distracted by suspicious noises outside, but I don't see anything suspicious. The magic fumes. I'll try not to. Yeah, I mean, this is like one of them big old, big old. <laughs> if you're, if you love markers, you'll love this. Marks a lot. <laughs> Jenga. Like serious Jenga, or like, haha, let's let's knock over the tower, Jenga. Okay, we'll use this. We'll get some acetone, kind of both. I don't hate it. I just, I mean, like, it's one of those things, if you want to use it, you gotta learn to tolerate it, like nail polish. Okay. Do I need to clean this off since this is a new cup? Let's just dive right into it. I feel like I set my polish like kind of far away. Like I feel like it's a little bit risky. <laughs> like bringing the drops over. We'll adjust after this round. Okay, so if we end on green and we do a looser spiral, ooh, drying. That's probably not accurate because it's kind of drying. <gasps> Very gummy. It'll give us an idea though. Get that out of the middle. I mean, I kind of want to almost go for like, hmm. Dude, the hair is so good. It's like a mermaid. This is the other order, like reverse order. Yeah, the blue is definitely like noticeably thicker. It still spreads fine though, so. Hmm. 
All right, same thing. Except it's spread properly, so we have a nicer bullseye. And again, a loose bullseye. Like I yeah I like you had a big bubble there that I feel like the difference is more noticeable when you do a tight spiral because this one is very similar like it's leaning a bit more into the purples than into the blues both of those are like pretty similar versus yeah i i love i'm like they they're uh they're very nice to work with and the way that they look in the cup is closer to the way that they look over like a white base i mean obviously because the inside of the cup is white <clears throat> Man, I wish this marker was juicier. Can I like whoosh the juices? Huh? Maybe. <laughs> huh. No, it's about the same as last time. Although it's not worse than last time, so maybe it did work. Okay. So. I mean, that it was another one of those things that like made me feel like, I'm smart, am I? Luke, I'm on mobile. Don't expect much from me. Also, Luke, instantly adds a quote. <laughs> Why aren't you spreading? Let's... Let's clean up. Let's take a moment. All right. Clean surface. Let's go. One, two, that was a lot. Three, four, five. And we'll stretch. Six, seven. Eight, nine, yeah, ten. We'll draw kind of through that in order to kind of negate that little bloober. couple bubbles in the design which is a little bit weird I haven't been having problems with bubbles okay so now if we do like the tight tight spiral number one I really gotta move so it doesn't get dried out Now, stuff like this doesn't really show up on the finished product as much as you would think. But I mean, I still, if I was dipping a finger, like I obviously wouldn't put my finger right there. Oh. 
Now, like, too, like, a part of me really just likes the part, the bottom part, like, just down off of the, the center of the spiral. That would probably be another, another one finger dip, though, because, like, if I wanted it on my nail at that angle, like, you can't go, I, I'm limited in how I can flex my fingers that, I really like that. Wait, what about, what about fifth grade? What did I miss? Wait, like how, oh, oh, into, well, is it a bar slash restaurant? Question mark. Wait, wait, we got, we got one more. We got one more. Don't vote yet. <laughs> oh! Sorry. <laughs> that honestly shocked me. I thought the surface was clean. I thought... Spacey, thank you for the resub. Thank you for uh, for two months. Um, if, you, if you think your water's clean and your polish does that, chances are your water's not clean and it's not the polish's fault. I mean, it might be. It'd be the polish, but it's probably not. Barn grill. Eh. It it depends. There are. It it depends on what the actual vibe inside the place is. I mean, is this like you know Applebee's or is this Cheers? <laughs> yeah. Let's try that again. That's a blue. It's different from all the others. I didn't stretch. Why didn't I stretch? Can I stretch now? Is it too late? Is it already dried? Oh, it's starting to dry. That was silly. Just absent-minded of me, considering other things at the same time. Like if I would follow Christine's advice to use a ridge-filling base coat. Which I decided I probably would, because we got all these little patches making weird texture on my nails. Okay, tight spiral. That's a nice one. <laughs> So the difference is like mainly noticeable kind of more toward the inner spiral where this inner spiral is more like purpley and this inner spiral is more like bluey. The The edge, I feel like the edges are more, more pink predominant and purple predominant in this one. Camera please. And in this one the edges are kind of like more it's like whatever is in the center is the opposite of what's on the edges kind of I mean there's some pink and purple in the edges but I feel like like if you look at the top like right there like there's a a, a thick a thick section of blue there It like if I'm looking at the outer petals, I prefer this one. If I'm looking at the spiral, I think I might prefer this one. Decisions. 
not too much. I, I like the order that they're in. I've changed like a few times I've changed like where I start in the order. And then like if you compare, did we have a preference between these two? The open spiral? I guess I kind of prefer that one. That was the second one also. So those are both the ones that end in the purples. Camera. Yeah, it just, it feels much more graphic. Like you get you get more of the black poking through because you are drawing more through the polish. Like the you know I see like like pros and cons for both of them. Like, like the, the lesser spiral is more multi-chrome coverage, but like, I, I'm, I don't hate that the black peeks through. Do we really need hollow though? I mean, you guys, a multi-chrome water marble is already going to be a little bit difficult to read. Like once it's once it's glossy. Are are you guys telling me we want to add hollow? Wait, left side, best side, which is left side for you? I have to like literally look in the cut. The tighter spiral. I mean, just like a glancing at them, that's the one I lean toward also. But like, I like the other one. Well, I mean like... Okay, hold on. All right, guys. Hold on. Hold hold on. Should, I should have just folded up several of these like to start off with. No, no, no. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe. Everybody was saying sparkle underneath. Where did the marker go? No, I don't want the blue one. I want the black one. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Just a dude. It's not fancy, but you know, it's still hello, it's me. They're they're little individual packaging. It's very nice too, you know, it's like very secure in there. PR, by the way, hashtag. <laughs> Okay, so we have linear hollow taco and we have flaky hollow taco. 
for our purposes, the inside will be the upside. Or the underside. Or the bottom side. or the Maybe I should have thought about this in a different way. I don't know. The inside is where it's going on the bottom. That's not quite half, is it? The outside is where we'll put it on the top. This is flaky hollow taco. You know, hold hold on, sidetrack. This isn't the same, <laughs> is it? No, I feel like the original is chunkier. <laughs> Investigation. Where is it? No, it's scattered. No, the, <laughs> where is my original bottle of flaky hollow taco on the desk somewhere yes right you can see my my original is like half gone but like I gotta be really careful of this cup. I don't want to knock it over. Like when I when I get it at an angle under the light where I get like a reflection off the whole the whole side of it, like it's I don't know. It just looks a little different to me. I don't even know if the camera is quite picking it up. If it would focus, maybe it would. Okay. Hold on. Mm. Camera, please, please focus. Okay, how about if I do like this? It's hard to compare because my original bottle is so close to being empty. Hold on. Hold on. This is the original flaky with top coat. Oh. Like something about just like how the glitter is sticking to the glass. It's got a, it's got a more reflective oh camera I'm so mad at you right now. You see what I'm talking about just like here in the corner it's it's behaving differently. It's still phenomenal. It's very close. It feels like it's not quite as chunky and some of the glitter almost. I need to get an in focus view of this. I'm sorry, I'm like completely sidetracked here. Um, I know she had said she had trouble sourcing them for quite a while. I should have swatched it right next to it. And I should put some top coat on it too, but. Do I have one in here too? An original swatch? I mean, I suppose I could, you know, I'm dumb. Why don't I just swatch it right now, you guys? You ever just have your brain go off down a tangent? And you're like, what can I do? And your brain presents an absurd idea before it presents a normal idea? Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> 
I don't know. I think maybe I'm crazy or I think maybe I'm right. Something about it. Ooh. That, yeah. And maybe that's just because of the way that it's like weirdly stuck to the side there, but like. I never saw it do quite like that on the original. Camera, can you just. There. Yeah. It's more reflective. It's not it like it's not visible at every angle, which is weird. Like if I like if I switch like over here, like literally all I did was rotate the bottles. They look much more similar. Like if you look inside the bottle at the actual, I want to, I want to put like a big old blob out. You guys see this? This is the new one. Oops. I didn't. Okay. I didn't foresee that happening. <laughs> this is the original. Whoa, whoa, that's a bigger blob than I intended. <gasps> whoa, that wasn't closed. I didn't spill. I just unexpectedly grabbed the bristle. Okay, well, these just turned into like large blobular weird swatches. I don't know. I feel like it's slightly more reflective, but it's it's so close to being identical that it's negligible. Nobody else is gonna like be like, those are not exactly the same. Just focus. Okay, it focused on that part of the page. Can you focus on this part of the page? No, maybe, yes. They're twins. Thank you, Arcadia. I need that right now. Oh, la, la, la. Ew. <laughs> You're here for it. Well, I'm glad you guys are. I don't know. I don't remember if when she finally got it back in stock, if she said that she got more of her original or if she said that she found a replacement that she considered worthy. But the fact is that they like there, there's just like it's like you ever like out in public and like you see somebody and you're certain that it's a person. And then like you do a double take and it's not that person, except like it's almost backwards of that. I don't I don't know if that sentence made sense at all. Anyway, <laughs> the other half is going to be this from the new bottle. Oh, I'm crazy. Sometimes I feel absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
the microscope test at certain angles just the reflectivity it almost can look gold which i don't remember ever thinking about the original even when it was like full but it wasn't full for very long so maybe it's also just like an aspect of the bottle being full i don't know these you know i could hold on that that's not very oh oh that's as good as i can do for you guys right now and and they look pretty fucking identical Maybe I should have, wait, I did do a thinner comparison. That's these two. Camera. No, it's, it's just at the angle where it catches an additional reflectivity. They're, they're they're twins like I said they're twins yeah like it's not like this is different it's just like is this different hold on no stop I don't I don't need to know the date phone the re the real important important test. I mean, they're both hollow. They're both really, really hollow. I don't, I don't see a noticeable difference there either. If she's using something slightly, slightly different, it, I mean, it's so close as to make you doubt your sanity. It's like, like, that's how I feel about it. Like, I'm like, am I going crazy or are they different? I don't know. Like, I just literally don't. Just something about the reflectivity. That. That reflectivity, which is only on, like, one side of the bottle, mind you. Or two sides of the bottle. Okay, it's on two sides of the bottle. I know it's not in focus, but you can still see what I'm talking about. Like that, that just caught my eye. Okay, let's go back to not weird zoom. And let's go back to what really matters, which is, is this flaky or this linear going to be involved in our water marble? That's the, that's the actual question. Did she, did she get them food? Does, does, on the previous subject too, does the grill portion of the bar have a kid's menu? I mean, that's, that's a surefire giveaway. Of if a place does want to be that family bar. Because that's a great idea. Um, so we're ending in purple, right? We're ending in purple. And we're probably doing a tight spiral. Right? Is that, what, is that what we've decided? Or we don't know what kind of spiral we're doing. No, we're probably doing a tight spiral. Ending on purple, tight spiral. With or without hollow. Oh, for a minute, like... I read that as digits pushed in me and I was like alarmed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I like, I was imagining like children small enough to like come up and just poke stranger. <laughs> mm. Okay, if the kids menu exists, then I ain't mad at her from for bringing her kids. Although like she probably should have bought them some little chicken tendies or something. 
to keep him from poking the strangers, even though that apparently didn't happen anywhere except for in my non-reading imagination. Hmm. Okay, we need to stretch this a considerable amount. Oh, that stretched weird. I maybe should have cleaned that before I started. This this is fine though for testing purposes. If I if it was a manicure, I would maybe stop and start over, but since it's not a manicure, it's testing. We shall continue. All right. Oh, no. 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 And then in toward the center. All right. Tight spiral. Oh. Caught a dry edge. Got a lot of drag. I'm actually going to lift that out and continue. Is there a beanie here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Do you see? Oh god. Now it's going to be dry. Oh, this is all very bad. So gummy. We'll still... Used to test though. Alright, and then we gotta do another one for the flaky side. Hey, Music Al. We are, we think we, we think we like, we did some more testing. We think we like this one best I'm, I'm still undecided on like how fingers are going in here you guys if we're if we're aiming for all for all spirals or if something else is happening we're ex we're experimenting right now on possible hollow under or over which I, I feel like my initial impression is that it might be overkill but that it also might be cool I understood after I read it, Luke. I just, like, I, ha I like, wait, I was like, my brain, like, sometimes, like, I understand that my understanding is probably flawed, and my brain's like, hey, maybe you should try reading that again. <coughs> and so I did, and then I understood. But I decided to share my confusion with y'all for content. <laughs> Oh. Let's make sure to move. Actually, that's probably not like a very secure place for that to be on the exposed Helmer drawer. Oh, hey, that does show on camera. Beanie, you got some pets coming your way, sir. How you doing? Yeah, handsome boy getting your fur all inside of my water marble. Why you do me like that? Why you shedding so much fur, sir? It's winter time. Keep all of your fur. It's not really winter, but like it is fucking chilly. <laughs> I the white is really cool, but like for for now, like I'm I'm pretty much planning to revisit this. Like, cause you get such cool rainbow tones. Like at some tone, some tones angles. Like at some angles, it's just like gray. It's kind of almost unassuming. And then you get like this rainbow. This also, I mean, this possibly even more so like might be interesting with possibly, maybe I'd be willing to consider hollow involved in it somehow. Also with these though, like musical, like you, are you familiar with like Labradorite? Like I like I feel like these colors in some sort of like dry brush technique or anybody else too, not just Musical, but like um, 
like like something about him is having like a real translucenty like al- almost opal but not like really opal sort of a glow like more like low key like the labrador i like i don't know so i was like like maybe i don't know but i am like it's it's nice like i don't know it's nice to feel the creative juices flowing again because we haven't done nail art like seriously in a while and when when you see colors and then the colors turn into nail art without like you having to be like hmm you know like really thinking hard about it like it's the flow state sometimes artists call it or whatever i guess it's kind of like that what repeat no zuli what do they want I mean, hopefully tender. Yeah, I mean, if hopefully they're tenders if they're trying to call them tenders. Like that Culver's commercial and talks about people. Like it's from the actual tenderloin of the chicken. <laughs> mm. Oh, that sucks, Ego. Like it's it's a comp- like nails fall under the category of do whatever makes you happy because it literally doesn't affect anybody else at all anybody that gets like butt hurt over anything i have on my nails has a fucking problem to be honest personal opinion but you know like yeah maybe even a bit of a uh uh is it a chartreusence is that (laughs) i feel like i'm close but not quite it's not charcuterie like that's the meat tray that's delicious but like there's a word a gemstone word that sounds like charcuterie (laughs) Mm. man let me know if you remember that one yeah no i know chartreuse is a color no, not Chalcedony. Not the actual rock. I. It's, it's like it's like a combination. I don't know. I don't remember. Like I like I have a vague impression of a memory of a word. <laughs> Chitoyets, son, fucking eternal superiority feelings for vocabulary superiority yes yes the chatoyancy i don't know if i'm pronouncing that but that's the word that is the word that my brain was like grasping and reaching blindly for <sighs> yeah chatoyancy is kind of more like uh like tiger's eye yeah I don't know. I feel like Labradorite and Tiger's Eye kind of have that same similar thing going on where it's like a a deep, a depth, a deep, a deep depth to them, you guys. I mean, part of the reason the water marble looks opalescent is because of the colors that are used. Like if I, if I did it as a Labradorite, I don't know if I would try and use all the colors or if I would stick with like like probably like this one because it looks almost gray when it's at a thin coat and then like maybe the green and the blue and stay a little bit more away from the purple (laughs) 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 yes metallic shimmery rippled vibe i love that i love that all right you guys one more test excuse me i'll drink more water in a second so i'm not consistently croaking all right stretch Whoa, that was kind of overstretched almost, but it'll be fine. That would even be fine for a manicure, but certainly it's fine for testing. Oh, 
Okay. Mm. So we'll pull it out. We'll pull it in. Whoa. Dry edges. Be careful. Tight spiral. Okay. Can you even... It's hard to see when it's wet if you can even see the hollow. That's our, that's our spiral that we're going to be going with, though. Do we go for the spiral or do we go for the petals? I mean, if we consider my nail length right now, if I can get this at an angle where it's not so damn shiny. Whoop. Hey, it's dark. <laughs> oh, Dr. Crotron, is, is your bench a bench now? Or does it need more to make it a bench? Like, we could get a lot of the petals or we could get like the immediate spiral plus possibly one more layer. If you look at like, <laughs> the size of things <laughs> yes a beautiful dick's rainbow <laughs> does dude line up so nicely somebody spam dude alright dog get you some food get you that, that post trim food <laughs> mm. same on this one like you can't really tell where the hollow was underneath it so I guess that would say a no to the underneath oh nice nice um <laughs> distracted by that let me try to get some of this water off of here Ooh. I may need more q-tips just trying to get some of these off without like disturbing the pattern underneath usually I do not bother trying to hurry up drying my test swatches I just want it dry enough that I can add a layer of the flaky on top and see if it's absurd or see if it's cute <clears throat> yeah but nobody likes the butts as much because they're thin I mean do we just do we just go fucking full on spiral on every nail <laughs> it's so hard to get at a good angle <laughs> hey Sam we're good we're gonna be going for a while because I got distracted testing okay yes there okay ignore the spots that may or may not become an issue in the actual water marble 
Like, do we just, do we, do we, like, again, the, the question of color balance comes into play because, like, dang it, where was that sweet spot? Maybe it depends on how this is curved or pulled or also. Um, like the green is not really much towards the middle. Like there's some at the top and there's a little bit at the bottom. And that's not just that one. I think that was this one also. Yeah, the green. I mean, I really like the green. It makes me question, well, if it's barely showing, should I take it out? Or should I leave it so that when it does show that it's just like a little hint of green popping through? I mean, that's true, son. I don't know if I could successfully intentionally make it happen, like on the nail. Maybe if I had like a spray bottle or something. Like this is what they look like once they're top coated, which I feel like they're not as noticeable. Like, I feel like they, they don't look noticeable enough to make it worth it once once we consider top coating. So I'd just rather would have no, uh, no drops. Leave the green? Leave it, leave it in or leave it out? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking you mean leave it in. It's, it's adding something even if I can't specifically see what it's adding. This is true. Like, how much am I going to pick up here? Like, if I, if I go for spiral, like, centered in my nail bed, it's not on camera, like, centered in my nail bed, that leaves room for, like, a ring or possibly two at the tip of my nail also. So considering that, I could pick, you know, we have the central spiral. I could pick to either have this slot of green or this slot of green at the tip of my nail, depending on where I dip. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Linear. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, that's actually really interesting how that picks up on camera. Now we're not seeing the hollow, of course, because we're under ring light. Maybe we should do a little bit of flashlight time. I'd also like to add, if, if I wasn't clear when I was like, you know, meticulously eyeing and speculating about the flaky, like no negativity at all, you know, that's just, that was my first impression and I had to run with it. And so I had to share it with you guys. That takes away from the water marble. You, you don't even see the water marble anymore. The, the linear actually... Like you, the, the, the linear, I, now it's been a while since I talked about this and I haven't actually taken advantage of it very often, but hollow tacos, linear taco is the most transparent hollow taco, the hollow, hollow topper that I own. And what I mean by that is you can see what's underneath it very clearly. You don't have this sheen of silver particularly like it's somehow there but also like not there um let me zoom out a tad 
Uh, y'all, y'all know what's up. So. Oh. I, I still, with the flaky, you still. All you see on the flaky side is flaky. You don't. Like, you stop noticing there's a water marble there. You only notice because there's, like, one next to it that you can see. Interestingly, that as transparent as they are, you can't really see the flaky that's underneath. Now, over here, on the linear side... Camera, you want to cooperate for me? I think when the hollow is... Uh, more on display that the the water marble does disappear a little bit. It just doesn't want to focus on this very well. Like it was. There we go. Um, but still, like you can... Why did you pop out of focus again? You can see more than you can with the other one. There. Like, it's definitely, like, there's that whole, like, shifting rainbow, like, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of hollow. Um. But it's not overwhelming the water marble. Um. Mainly because I didn't have it out and because I only have room for two on a sheet. And I don't think I would go with the scattered. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. It barely changes the color. Um... I don't, I don't know if it, like, adds enough. Should I top coat both of these? Is this... I wish I could... Also, have to continue like that. Like, it, the camera does not like these laying flat. Hey, Gidge. <laughs> that bubble's gonna pop and leave a hole. Hey, Tex. <laughs> oh no, don't touch. <sighs> the shininess makes it so difficult. I mean, it gets, e it gets even darker with top coat. I guess the hollow does, in a sense, lighten that up a little bit. Like, it, it gives it a little bit of a shimmer, even when it's not, uh, like, popping hollow. This is just the, the, the overpowered bad flashlight, because I don't feel like doing real flashlight time again. Hashtag fall wait. I mean, I guess it is. Yeah. Well, also, I got started later than I 
intended. I got watching the uh, the tournament race, and it was like a, a very close and entertaining one. And then I was like, "You're supposed to be getting ready for stream," and uh, yeah. I feel like you know what? Where did I? Let me look at the thunder flashlight again one more time. Like, oh, this is so bad for you guys. I'm sorry. I feel like with top coat, you can almost kind of tell that the other half of this has hollow underneath it. But also, just a reminder that these are extremely shimmery on their own without any hollow once they're once they're shiny and top coated that's uh like there's even there's almost it almost looks hollow there's no hollow on this one it almost looks like scattered hollow but it's not it's just because there's so many multi-crumbs in there Wait a minute, how many notches was that? Um, hold hold on. There we go. No, I don't either. There we go. Okay. Set those to dry. Um Okay, let's organize. Let's put um, these over here or over, where did I put the box? Here. Or I suppose I could put them away, but I'm just going to put them back in here for now. Put the marker away because we don't need it. Um, we'll keep this for under my acetone. Should I get a new cup? This one's kind of dirty. We've done a lot of testing. I should probably get a new cup. Hey, Chibo. Welcome. This water pretty clean. Fairly. Okay, let's put this cup back here for now. Okay, we'll need latex, tape, top coat. Oh, yeah, that's what else I was going to get out of here. Peely base. Ridge filling base. Um, tweezers. Sorry, I'm just getting some of this polish off my hands because I was sloppy with testing. <clears throat> I did. I def I definitely did flamingo. Um tweezer. Oh, I'm gonna need some more Q tips. Did I put the Q tips in a logical location? Maybe not. Or are they still just here? They were here they are. They are just still here.
I should just f like find or make some sort of Q-tip dispenser to have on my desk. <laughs> hey Google, what's the temperature? In Minneapolis right now, it's 44 degrees. Yeah, it's cool. Oh dang it. I just dropped like several Q-tips. Sixty-four. I mean, we we've had this discussion before, Gidge. I I I think you're in the minority with that opinion. Sixty-four is getting to be chilly for me. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to take a little bathroom break because that would be the smart thing to do. You guys can gaze upon these while I'm gone. Gaze upon them in all their splendor. Gaze. Oops. When you're trying to make things more perfect and you make things less perfect. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom and we're going to get started, which is what I thought we were going to do an hour and a half ago when I started stream, because we'd already done testing. Imagine needing to do more testing. Um, let me find a little scooch of music. <clears throat> yeah, today was pretty chilly. I think that, uh... Like, we're supposed to have some more days in, like, the 70s and stuff, but it's definitely uh, a fall is in the air moment. Um. <clears throat> a magic sparkly taco. Um, as usual, our BRB music will be Kevin McLeod's Unwritten Return. If you need a moment to refill your drink or get a snack or just have your own little bathroom break, now is the time and I appreciate your patience.
it's quite a rare day when Beanie just stays in his chair. So we truly have been blessed. <clears throat> hey, unlovable. Mm, what a good boy. See those claws go. Make sure to the fur away. <laughs> Oops, not that one. That one. <clears throat> Cookies, dinner. Mmm. That's perfectly fine. Lurkers make the world go round. I'm I'm a pro lurker when I am not streaming because streaming takes a lot of like what is what is the word for like putting yourself out there so sometimes when I'm just hanging out and especially like if I don't have anything to say yeah yeah social energy social energy Oh, a treat. I see the treat. I see it. <sighs> yeah. Oh, say I'm not too sleepy for a treat. Ready? You ready for a treat here? Yeah. Treats. It's a treat. Oh, it's a treat. <laughs> yeah and you know i think that can be the case even when the chat is overwhelming with the best of friendly intentions unlovable sometimes you just want to be cozy i don't want to say necessarily hunker down but yeah Worlds are colliding. <laughs> Luke, that's, su that's such an intriguing statement, but uh, good luck, question mark? Um, thank you. Good night. Maybe I'll see you later. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, it like, I don't, my, my brain. <laughs> like... Who, who knows? Could could be a mom fight over Luke. Could be somebody from work showing up at your hangout spot. We may never know. I saw Luke first. He's mine. No, I just gave him my number after giving my kids some chicken tendies. <laughs> I'm going to assume Luke is okay because number one, power of positive thinking, which I don't really believe in, but like, hey, sometimes it works though. But also because if shit was really hitting the fan, I don't think he would take time to like peace out. He just got some, he just got some things to be taken care of. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Luke said worlds are colliding and then left. And now we don't know which worlds are colliding in what fashion. <laughs> and we're all too curious for our own damn good. I may, Ego. My plan, so my plan, my tentative plan is to do my nails, which we're like finally getting around to starting. And then to have a dinner break. And then probably come back and do a little game stream in the evening. Well, I mean, it's already evening, technically. The, the late evening, I guess. I don't even know what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm not actually very hungry yet. I haven't been up very long. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Maybe he's playing Tony Hawk. I mean, th these are questions we may never know the answer to. Or maybe we will. This could be adult beverage time story time with Top Hat Luke. Could be next Luke's course. I need to be awake to catch Luke's dreams. Woke up to a to a notification that Hot Top Hat Luke was streaming. Except it was hours ago and I had already missed it. Yeah, sometimes that's the frustrating part, Ego. That's why I created the uh, the choo choo roll in my server. Which, if you like, let me let me know on Discord or like send me a reminder on Discord. There's also like I was looking at it the other day because it's actually like pretty cool. There's a there's an Unreal Discord and they have matchmaking in there. Although I don't know, like playing with strangers seems weird but guess what also but maybe playing with strangers is a good i good way to make friends i mean I, you know well, i went in there to upvote autobots feedback about the horrible new sounds but it all it all depends on how long the manicure takes and on how long dinner takes and how i'm feeling after that I went to bed really late and then like I laid in bed for a while. I was like, are you joking me? Like, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, but. Thank you, Ego. This is technically kind of short for me and sometimes my nails tend to fan a little bit too, but I just shape them how I want them to. A little more tapered usually. So, I don't, you know, I'm sure I probably talked about patches yesterday. Or did we redo, when did we redo patches? The other day? We've got, we've got these two breaks on the thumb. Like, they're holding up. Okay. Like, I feel like this one is probably going to fail, like, this side first. It's, it's not failed yet, but, like... I can feel that it's not smooth. Other than that, they're okay, though. Okay, so... Oh, camera. That would be a, a pro move. I'm hoping I won't have to redo most of the patches. I mean, I expect I'll have to redo the thumb patch at some point because it's it's such a bad break. Such a bad set of breaks. Sorry for the jiggles. But the rest I'm hoping I can just grow out from here unless like they like fail really soon. I think like they're in pretty good condition. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sure hair product was like one of the worst things to have on your nails. Don't scratch your head. Did any of you even touch my hair? Okay. <clears throat> if I could, you guys want to be a little tiny bit closer. Like maybe like... That much closer oops i also hate it when uh patches get that little like ashy look from acetone even though it, like makes literally no difference Ooh, a beanie pet before we get started hey soft boy who's so good boy <laughs> all right <clears throat> My nails are also peeling. Apparently. Let 
Literally, what did I do? Do I leave it or do I reinforce it, assuming that it's going to be weak now and that it'll probably break there? I mean, I don't actually remember how long it was. I didn't think it was longer than like two weeks, but like maybe it was. I don't know. This feels okay. I kind of don't want to put any more gel on this nail. Gotta make dinner. All right, Chibo. Yeah. Fosters, fosters and stuff like that are kind of difficult that way I go. I, I'm very torn on whether I should... I'm just, I'm going to leave it for right now. I, I don't. And the reason is a completely lazy reason. And if this whole corner pops off on me later, because it's going to flex, because it's weak, because it's lost an entire whole ass layer of nail for no apparent fucking reason. You guys can all say, well, Colette, you knew at the time that you probably should patch it because it was weak and vulnerable and you didn't have time. And now you reap what you sow. <laughs> Lola Johansson, uh, thank you for the follow. I just, I really. Like, it was like spontaneous nail peeling. Like, actually, what the actual, actual. Mm. Mm. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base. And on top of that, I'm also going to add a layer of the smoothing base to give the multi-chromes a really smooth surface. So, peely base first, then smoothing base. I decided to do it that way. Like Christine recommended it, but normally I probably wouldn't bother. But since I have like all these patches, like you can even see on that one, like you can see where the edge of the patch was that would show through on a multi-chrome, even water marbled. Like they maintain that kind of, you can see every ridge sort of a thing if you can hear that helicopter I do apologize it's pretty freaking loud louder than usual are you landing or taking off or just like chilling out helicopter <laughs> yeah that's what it that's what it is it's the hospital helicopter excuse me Yeah, I, I would kind of like to have another cat, but I don't know how Bean would handle another cat. Or Clark, for that matter. Mm. 
I'm glad that they get along. My aunt used to have a lot. She lived kind of further out in the country, so to speak. But I think she only has one right now. And he's like diabetic, so they really have to watch what he eats. So they said they probably wouldn't get more while they had him. Yeah, that's Clark. Clark's the pupper. Mm. Oh yeah, plane noise is super... I think it did a better job. Last time I feel like I went heavy on the top coat and it took a while to dry. I feel like it's drying better this time. You can see my stains growing out. The, the teal and I forget what else I ended up with stains from. Mm. I think after this course i don't know i want like these these also i mentioned before would be so nice for a drip marble i feel like um like i feel you like you could really get some oil slick things happening with with the drip marble get some of the get some of the like mixtures and organic shapes and swirls that i kind of wanted in a water marble but that i didn't get in my couple attempts at a random yeah, it's a decal. Let's do this other top coat. Decals are my nemesis, though. I think I'll wrap the tips with this one, too. Some, uh, like ridge filling or smoothing base coats, I feel like they have a really weird formula. Like they almost tend to go kind of lumpy. Um, I don't talk about that often because I use peel off base so often, but the hollow taco smoothing is actually nice because it feels like a regular formula. Like, it doesn't feel super weird. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. Yeah, and you can just see, I mean, even like my regular nails, like they're not, they're not smooth. You guys know I very rarely buff my nails nowadays. They'd have to be a lot ridgier than this for me to buff my nails, but they are visibly ridgy. But a little bit of... A little bit of smoothing base coat fixes that. It's not a problem anymore. How is that not the... Actually, it probably is. It's just been so long since I've seen the ridge filling base coat introduction. Christine had to have used the It's Not a Problem Anymore, right? Right? She wouldn't, she wouldn't leave us hanging like that anymore. Yeah, just small imperfections that can turn into a big problem. No, it's not like a huge problem. It's honestly not. The other reason that I decided to do this actually is since I'm going to be using one coat black as my black, we're only going to have like a thin, and then we'll, we're going to be having water marble. It's going to be a very thin manicure. So this is actually partly to add a little bit of additional thickness to the manicure which will help with like in my experience wear and peelies yeah that too if you compare
Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it is like an opaque, but even so that doesn't guarantee that you're going to get, you know, kind of neutralizing effects. But yeah, you're definitely right. Yeah, if I were doing like a like a French tip or something. Maybe yeah, I don't know. I probably would still do like a a Zoya naked or something to help fully more fully color correct it. But this is nice. If you don't have access to that. Let's just make sure to make that just a little bit thicker where the nail is now a little bit thinner. All right. Pull a little right thumb and pull a little right thumbs patches which are some of the rougher patches actually yeah that's when a lot of things started to change <laughs> you might say okay Okay. <clears throat> For today's water marble, I'm going to be using the colors from the Hollow Taco Multichrome collection. We have Cat's Evasion, Blue Ain't Slick. Wait a minute. This is not the right, this is not the order. What order did I? Oh, okay, wait, no, green on the end. Also, I touched my not dry base coat right there. Which which direction do I want to go? Probably this direction. Okay, we'll go that direction. chipper to swear mm. <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using for my water marble today are from the hollow taco multichrome collection I'll be using chameleon coat blue ain't slick mist shift and purple with envy as well as cats evasion and for my base coat color, base color, blah, blah, blah. It's been too long since I've been recording tutorials. I can't, I can't speak without tripping over my tongue. That sounds questionable. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Does that mean I'm not a chipper sounding person and that's why it's so normal that I always curse? <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using today for my water marble are from the Hollow Taco Multichrome Collection. This is Chameleon Coat. Then we have Blue Ain't Slick, followed by Mist Shift. Then this is Purple with Envy. And finally, Cat's Evasion. For my base color, I'm going to be using one coat black. And once I have that applied, I'm going to be protecting around my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. Okay, I think that's an acceptable one. Mm. 
<laughs> Super chill. <laughs> no fury or salt at all. I actually thinned out my one coat black just a little bit. But oh good, it's still one coat. <clears throat> it was very thick so I think I added like more than 10 drops of thinner I added 10 and then I added like I don't know maybe 5 or so more No, it's much nicer. <clears throat> yeah, I hope I can figure something out for dinner that doesn't take me too long, because I'd like to do something tonight the two goes with robot homie too i feel like both of those just died in such dumb spots wasn't even robot homie's fault Ooh. chubby sidewalls <clears throat> nice what kind of an organizer spacey like a drawer unit or like a display unit I'm sure there are some of the quotes that are not like <laughs> horrible, out of context, uh, <laughs> I mean. I don't, I don't think I'm the one who named that room. So, I mean, like, that's not my fault at all. Wow. I cannot paint neatly to save my actual life. Also, what, what is sticking off of the edge here? Stop that. Mm, okay. Oh, like like a train case type of a thing. I've actually got a really nice train case from back when Formula X got launched. It's, but it's still got the Formula X polishes in it. I was always like, I should take these out and put, I don't know what else in here, but I never did. I wonder how many that one holds. I'm like, this, I mean, it's like decent size. I don't know if it's quite 50 though. Maybe 30 or 40, maybe 50. Maybe more than 50. Cause wait, there were like two tray sections in the top and then like a lower bottom section
<clears throat> yeah I mean you know I, I assume there are toes there <laughs> it's the very it's the, was the very end part of his pointy ass little leg that I happened to run into yeah like a caboodle you got it together caboodles Somebody dare to tell me caboodles were not the shit back in the day. So they're pretty good. I actually can still see the patches. I guess I could have done two coats of uh, the ridge filler. Pretty minor, I guess. Hard to see on camera, but at the tip there. I can, I can of course, I know where it is also. There's, there's that. Okay. Time for completely unreasonable fear as we attempt this water marble that we've already done at least like a dozen times because we did lots of testing, but now we're doing it on camera, so it's nervous. But wait, but but first, let's do. Whoa. Tape. Carefully, carefully tape. Hmm. Make sure there's no weird surprises in here. Okay, it's normal. <gasps> mm. Why are you so squeaky? Literally, why is that squeaking like that? Literally, why? Oh, there's cat fur on the tape. Because of course there is. Let's put that down and get the next section of tape in. And hope that that has less cat fur on it. Okay. We're going to go around the sides just like that. And then we're going to grab the latex and go around the bottom a lot. We'll call it to there. I think that should be good. Trying to be careful. Not to stick tape where tape doesn't need to be stuck. And not to get like too overly dramatic with the uh, latex up the finger either because I don't know sometimes if there's actually too much it's hard to peel also. One day you guys I'll get better at applying latex. It's kind of a a short end but we'll just paint up that area a little bit more with the latex mm -mm -mm. Tiger Lily, that's a cute name for a cat. Mm. 
Okay, I'm just going to do this hand because trying to do both hands, one water marbling is kind of asking for trouble. Come on, tape. That did not rip very well. Rude tape. Rude. Okay, now I'll let this dry. And then we'll get to the nerve wracking part. Okay. The pinky's already almost dry. So shiny and pearlescent. Oof -da. I will admit that single nail water marbles kind of intimidate me now. Like it used to be more the norm and now it's like, I don't know, like I have higher expectations of myself because you have more room to be precise when you're only dipping one nail at a time. So then if you're not precise, you can't like excuse yourself by saying, oh, well, you know, it's because I dipped two nails at a time. So of course I wasn't able to be more precise. Mm. Yeah. I mean, a marble, like, accent could also be cool and then, like, have solid multi-chromes around it. Somebody I follow. And, of course, I can't remember who off the top of my head, but I used to like when they would review, like, collections. They would do, like, a water marble on, like, the, on, like, the ring finger or something as an accent. And then each of the swatch pictures, like, that would be consistent. Like, they would swatch eat all the colors on their other nails. Uh, Benny's adopted. He's from the Humane Society. And he was about a year old when I got him. And all I know about his former life is that his previous owner died. So, I don't, I don't know how much he was taken care of or of or neglected during that period he's always been a little bit food insecure so i kind of wonder if he wasn't left unfed for a while or i i don't know it would be and it would be all completely speculation mm. <laughs> white button <and> orange <laughs> mm. clark is also from the humane society Ooh, a beanie treat. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he'll still have a tendency to, like, bolt his food or not chew it sometimes. I just, like, reassure him and remind him, like, beanie, please chew your food. You ready? You ready for you ready for a treat? Yes. Are you so handsome? Here you go. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. You good boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna put these in your face because I know you don't like it. Hello. What am I? There we go. I mean, that's pretty normal, isn't it? Is that not normal? That's normal. Yeah. Usually, especially with like the, I don't know if your place has like an online chart, but yeah. Last time I had blood work done later, and, the, and it was like an afternoon appointment, because <clears throat> y'all know me. 
Like, later that same day, they were available. Okay, you guys. Why am I scared? Why is water marbling always scary? Uh, why is water marbling always scary? I'm trying to like roll up my sleeves without actually grabbing them because I don't think I can grab them with this hand with, with the tape okay almost almost got the sleeve where I want it okay let's open these up there's nothing to be nervous about why am why am i nervous or there's everything to be nervous about you know all the things that can go wrong with water marble and clad how can you possibly even be this calm no it's fine no <laughs> butt spot what okay I literally, it's, it's, it's extremely foolish. I've been water marbling for, I've been water marbling longer than some of you kids have been alive. No, but I've, I've been water marbling for like 10 years. I know what I'm doing. So much as anyone can know what they're doing with water marbling. I, I guess I don't do it often enough anymore. I'm intimidated. It's intimidating me. really amethyst i thought that a lot of times pounds and stuff would i guess it would depend on where you are i know i don't know how many y'all y'all know like caesar milan the dog dog whisperer but he has a lot of chihuahuas because he would show up at like uh like a place and he would ask for the next dog that was set to be like put to sleep and a lot of times it was chihuahuas I have to confess I've never been too big on small dogs. Although our vet tried to tell us that Clark was going to be a small dog, although he turned out to be wrong. <laughs> Clark is, I think, like 65 pounds. <clears throat> yeah, I think any dog can be mean. If they're dicks or if they have dicks as owners. Okay, we're just gonna do it. It's just like the other ones. Everything will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> well, first off, I should clean the surface before we start going here. I see a hair right there. We transferred cups. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's try one more clean because I want to get a really nice first bullseye. All right, that was much easier to stretch. Much, much less stretch stretch resistance is that a thing i don't know I, I may have just invented a thing okay As usual for a water marble I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water hmm. 
I don't like that this is not centered, but we'll work with it. <clears throat> Once your bullseye is complete, draw from the center out in four different directions, creating kind of spokes. And then we're going to go ahead and draw back towards the center in between each of those before drawing in a spiral. Once your design is complete, you can go ahead and line your finger up in the water. I'm aiming so that the spiral is kind of centered but slightly low on my nail toward the cuticle and then go ahead and dip in. Clean off any excess polish from the surface so that that doesn't stick onto your design. And then once the surface is clean, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pull out, which should help prevent bubbles. And there's the water marble. I am going to use a tweezer to help me with removal here. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my nails. Oh, nice peel. Okay, so like... I don't love that positioning, but it's okay. Oh my God, that's actually kind of sick. That's actually kind of sick. I'll, I'll give you guys a closer look in a minute. Maybe I like the positioning even more than I thought at first glance. It's like slightly the center of the spiral is slightly closer toward my cuticle than I actually intended, but it actually looks really cool. So maybe I should be intending for that. I think I just need to intend to give myself a little bit of leeway and see what comes. This one's a much more centered bullseye. Whoa, dirty stick. All right, tight spiral. <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, I just touched the side. This could be completely fucked. I, ah, uh, fuck, man. I can't see it yet. That's not the greatest thing ever, but I don't know if I want to see. 
see it? Right there. That's where I knocked the side of the cup. Fuck, dude. You know, scummy surface. <laughs> I'll get caught up with you guys in a minute. I want to record the rest of this hand, probably. At least the rest of the fingers. Maybe not the thumb. Sometimes the thumb dip can be awkward. These later bullseyes are definitely superior though. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I should redip this nail or not. <clears throat> Tight spiral. Yes, I do have to remind myself every time. Stay away from the side of the cup this time, Colette. My goodness, that was like, that's like such a new move. Like, and it depends how you dip your finger in. Like, there are a couple different, like, dipping techniques. I like this one because I feel like it helps me to aim a little bit easier. Oh. Also, I forgot to take the latex off that one because I was thinking about redoing it. I think I'm just going to leave it, though. It's, uh... It's not horrible. I'm already doing 10 cups. I don't want to do 11 cups. Oh, these peels, dude. So good. I know you guys want to see a close-up of these. I know you do. Hold out with me just a little bit longer. Is this the most perfect bullseye tonight? Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm like concentrating intently to not skip anything important. Tight spiral. Oh. 
Okay. I immediately question my choice. That's that's just the thing with water marbling. If you get a good a good design in the cup, then you just you're forced to just sit questioning your choice of where you decided to dip. And as soon as you're sure and you dip, you'll you'll just question yourself. Oh, that's pretty good though. I mean, there's, it's another situation where there's no wrong answers. Also, I'm just like shaking my hand to the side to get rid of any water droplets so that we don't have a uh, water droplet texture. Oh. F. F for the clean peel. Or the unclean peel. So, the ring finger, camera, I mean, what do you guys think? I did maintain this kind of higher than intended placement, and it kind of makes it look less like a spiral than it makes it look like something else. I like it. I've I've got such mixed feelings on that uh on that ring finger. Hey Jerry, welcome Nate. Anybody else that came in while I was uh, concentrating very hard? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think people that let anybody add a quote, then eventually, like, somebody just ruins that for everybody. Yeah, room temperature filtered water. I use a Brita pitcher. Like, a part of me, like that, you, you guys know. You guys know. Like, that perfectionist part of me. There, that like really like that the, those dimples in that texture. What happened if anybody missed it? I nudged this nail into the side of the cup. I also feel like I probably could get away with leaving it. Like my eye like zooms in on that. Now that aside, like look at this psychedelic vibe that's happening here. We're getting swirly vibes without it being like stereotypical spiral water marble. Yeah, I, I can be too ego, but I'm aware that I am like, I'm aware that I am to the point where sometimes I'm like, okay, is this actually a problem or is this just something my brain is telling me is a problem that's not actually a problem? I don't know, I'll consider. We've got six cups to go for me to decide if I want to redo that one more time. All right, this will be for the thumb. Whoa, that, ah, that was a lot of blue. It's fine. I mean, that's not like detrimental. It's just a little blurb. And one of the easiest ways, like I mentioned yesterday, to fix that is to just make that one of the points that I draw through. That can really minimize uh, any impact on the design, which, I mean, realistically would just be not that serious, probably. Okay. 
Yeah, this one's kind of lopsided. Like, very lopsided, actually. Tight spiral. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Oh my dear god. I got so much green in that one. It looks so cool. I I wish I'd gone slightly slightly like I don't really feel like I caught the center of the spiral. The center is like right like here. But that thumb looks really cool. Hiding from a ghost. <laughs> I I have so many questions. I know the answer. I mean, I don't know the answer. Vote now, help me decide. Also, no additional votes. It just helps make the cleanup easier. So I just have, instead of having all the nail polish that was on there on my skin, I mean, you still end up with some spots that need to be cleaned up, but it minimizes it, makes it a little bit easier. Oh my God, neck and neck, you guys. You cannot leave this in a tie. Vote. <laughs> Your vote matters. <laughs> Your own personal individual vote matters. God damn it. Mm. Oh. Hey, Spooky. We're voting on whether I fix the ring finger, which has like a little boo boo on it, or if. It, I'm dumb and it doesn't matter and I should just leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> mm. I'd much rather vote multi-chrome than for a giant douche or a turd sandwich. South Park knew all those years ago. Mm. Oh, look at that green. Like the green, the green is subtle. We've discussed this. The green is doing things that we don't always know. But look at that green that I got on that thumb. If I redid this, I would have a chance to try and get some, some more green on here. I mean, it's there in other nails, but like it's popping out on the green. Leave it. Okay. Are you guys sure? Should I vote again? <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm a horrible person. Okay, leave it. Fucking leave it, Colette. Chat has spoken. 
<laughs> the tribe. Isn't that some reality TV show shit? Fuck that. Fuck reality TV right in the ear. No, that's not true. I used to have some reality TV that I liked. Back when I watched TV. <laughs> Back before I was all hooked on Twitch. Yeah, my heart's on crack or something, though. My heart's dumb. My heart is a nitpicker. Survivor. Yeah. You know, I never actually watched... I mean, I understand what it is, but, like, I've never actually watched Survivor. Which is kind of weird, because, like, most shows, it's like, oh, yeah, I've seen that a couple times. Like, I've actually never watched Survivor. <laughs> oh! Sorry. I'm trying to grab tape with tape already on your fingers. Not great. Not a great experience. Fuck. Focus camera. I dinged the nail. That's what I'm trying to show you. I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to just hope that the, that the multi-chrome covers it up. <laughs> yes, Spooky. Yes. Yes, they are. It's in fact not a fancy Barney nipple. It's a water marble bullseye. And if you saw something other than a Barney nipple or a water marble bulls, I'm curious what you saw. Yeah, I actually... I'm, I made affiliate before I ever had a game stream. So... Although, I mean, even now that I've, like, got, like, official emotes and stuff, I haven't leaned into the embracing the Hollow Knight for, like, my channel branding. So I probably, I don't know that I would have had Hollow Knight-themed sub-badges, even if I had been playing it when I was affiliated. But, yeah. They are indeed water marble rings. Now, I don't know, because of the scale of the sub-badges, like, if I ever get partner and I get additional sub-badges, like, I'm going to have to come up with some additional ideas. I'm either going to have to just start changing the colors, or I'm going to have to, like, something comes after the cup with, I forget however many rings is, like, the max rings that I figured would actually be, like, legible. More infected. See, I just said the nipples were fancy. I didn't say they were infected. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I want archery target. Yeah. It is called a bullseye, which I which I may or may not have have uh initiated. That's not the word I was looking for. What's it called when you when you're like the first person to start doing some shit i'm not the first person to water marble I've, I've actually been credited with creating water marble a time or two i'm like no not quite <laughs> coined maybe coined did i coin the phrase yeah maybe i coined the phrase i don't know though because the first two tutorials that I watched when I was learning water marbling, one had no voiceover and the other one had voiceover in French. Tarto phrases. If you know, you know. Um, so yeah, when I started doing it and making my tutorials, I just called it what it looked like. Was Tarta Phrases already calling it a bullseye in French? I don't know. Was that other person who didn't have a voiceover calling it a bullseye in their real life? I don't know. But I would maybe I would I would go ahead and take credit for it. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. I'm I'm really pleased that I've been able to introduce it to so many people. I think I'm pretty sure Tartar Phrases was the first one that I saw. And then I saw her tutorial and then there was like this other tutorial that was just like huge. I really love how these turned out. Oh my oh my goodness. I'm, I might have to overrule the vote. The drier this gets, actually the worse it looks to me. Am I tripping? I'm probably tripping. Hold on. Oh. I'm I've got tape on my fingers and I'm trying to I mean, obviously, it's obvious this close up. Why am I zooming in this close? I'm not even going to be looking at them that close in real life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there were definitely videos by then, son. And for no other reason than I know that there were at least five years of videos from me by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah brand new high quality product polish i mean it doesn't hurt hollow taco multi-chrome collection but it's not required i reserve the right to still change my mind and redo that one but we're gonna do my right hand first we're almost dry here Almost dry. Man, I'm probably going to redo this. I know we voted not to. I know we did. Maybe I'm being silly. I'm probably being silly. I'm I'm looking at it too much. I just noticed a little bit of... Oh, look at all that green. I just noticed this little bit of green on the corner of this nail. Come on, camera. Oops, see it right there. It's so minimal. Is it cause I got out like a slightly more also in some of these it just blends with the blue. Oh there. Like it goes blue right into green. It's it's all about the angles. Sorry. Okay. Distracted. No, I did not, Nate. I didn't. Uh, the polls always come with an asterisk. If you haven't been here, the asterisk means that I may or may not respect chat's wishes on the poll. Just like, just like when we were in Steel Soul. <laughs> and I kept asking y'all if I should, what I should do and whether I should cheese or not. And that last one, y'all took pity on me and told me I should cheese it. And then I didn't cheese it. And y'all were kind of mad, but I didn't die. Follow your heart. Imagine a Disney princess singing that. No, I'm not going to get a poll to get the answers I want. I'm just seeing, I'm, I'm reading the room. I'm, I'm gauging people's I'm gauging others' opinions. But guess what? They're my nails. Y'all opinions don't override mine. I'm just curious. If I hadn't made that clear, allow me to do so now. The only time I ever 100% stuck with the voted decisions was in Cuphead. Because that was the way that was going. If there was a time when I didn't want you guys to choose, then I simply didn't give you a poll. Like when I wanted money and I knew y'all wouldn't pick the running gun. So I just went and did the running gun. We should finish Cuphead sometime. That'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Amethyst. Crow judge. I reserve the right to crow judge whenever I fucking want a crow judge. Get off my orange stick, please. Polish. There we go. 
Come on, Nate. You mean you don't intimately care what's going on with my manicure? <sighs> like, every time I just do this, like, my eyes just zero directly in. Let's just, should we just start doing like that? <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get started on the right hand. I might do this backwards, although I don't normally, but I would like to unencumber my thumb and index from their tape because it makes gripping the polish bottles weird. I didn't stretch. Oop, overstretch. Okay. Pull that way. And then pull it all. And then y'all. Oh, opposite. Opposite spiral. Opposite tight spiral. Clockwise. Because we're on my other hand now. Polo, right thumb, I want you to have a beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful nail. I hope I pick a good spot for you. Oh, I don't know. Instant doubt. Oh, got a lot of polish stuck on me there. Okay, it's not centered, but it's kind of bomb. Y'all can't really see because it's so wet. It's just too shiny. Mm. Good night, Flamingo. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, not good peel. Man, I apparently used up all my good peels. On the first hand, maybe not. I guess we'll see. If I can even grab it. Man, working a tweezer left handed, I swear. So, yeah, instead of having to clean all that up, now we just have to clean up that much. Get off of my tweezers, latex there <clears throat> a cat in it massacre I I'm also curious of music gal's opinion she missed the poll I had a poll of whether I should redo the one that I bumped, Musical. Overall, it's like phenomenal, but it's like glaring me in the face. The vote was that I leave it alone, but I might be going against the vote. Yeah. But it's looking like the pinky. I kind of accidentally went a little bit closer to the cuticle with the center of the spiral than I planned. But I really liked how it turned out, like even on the pinky. Like it just gave like a, a like it like a less spirally spiral, and like the the ring finger is like really not that bad, but it just it's like just bad enough to you you vote leave it. That's what won. We ha I took off the latex. We've moved on to doing right hand. 
I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how I feel once I'm done with these cups because like that's what I should just do y'all should just remind me anytime I want to redo a water marble say wait until you're done and see if you still feel like fucking around with that because you guys know sometimes I hit that point in the manicure where I'm just ready to be done so if I can hit that point before I hit the point of like needing to redo this Plus, top coat will probably fix it so much. I I need to just leave it. I know you can you can see. Right, right there. Right where, right, right there. That's that's where it hit the side of the cup. Mm. Also, when did I zoom in? I guess I didn't zoom out far enough again. Is that good for you guys? All right, moving on, moving on. Nothing to see here. Moving on. I also, so I also had this thought that redoing it would give me a chance to bring more green to the main fingers because I got like a good amount of green on left thumb and, and not really on many other fingers, but I don't know if that's a good enough reason. I probably should just leave it like the, the voice in my head is like it's saying change it you'll regret it or like something close to that i don't know like i want to change it while at the same time knowing that it's just a time waster all right backwards backward spiral right hand spiral reminder to self clockwise tight clockwise spiral Um, mm. oh, I feel like my pinky doesn't want to bend the way I want to bend to dip it where I want to dip it. Okay, let's just, okay, just go before it dries too much. doubt instant doubt you guys i don't know how to get over this i feel like the last several times i've done water marbles i've had these same like as soon as i dip the nail i have these feelings of oh my god yeah, it's really not that serious Ooh, all those bubbles you see those bubbles just let them pop when you hit the surface okay that was kind of a, a wonky dip but it's still fine <gasps> whoa that could almost have been bad. <laughs> you assess that you should reassess, and I agree with your assessment. Yeah, I'm allergic. Every time I go to see my asthma and allergy doctor, they ask if I still have pets, and I'm like, yep. Give me them drugs. Kind of off-centered. They're so much easier to see once they're like a little bit dry. Like you still have a little bit of that multi-chrome on camera, but when they're wet, it's really hard to see. <laughs> a hollow knight boss as hard as water marble abs rad still you, you need luck and skill <laughs> that's how i feel about water marbling luck and skill water marbling is the abs rad of of nail art <laughs> Maybe one day I will master abs red, and maybe one day I shall master water marbling. But that day is not today. All 
and stretch. Stretching gives the other colors room to spread, obviously. It also helps keep the edges from getting dry, if I haven't said that lately. Okay. Alright, back in. Banny just ditch us. I'm pretty sure he did. Okay, clockwise, tight spiral. Very carefully. I feel like that turned out kind of weird. I don't I don't know how to explain it other than slightly weird. But it's okay. I kind of want fuck let go decide, make a decision and live with it. Okay. Look at that big old bubble there. Slowly. See, did you, it was hard to see, but that let out a little bit of polish. See, see that polish right there that I'm grabbing? That was from the bubble. I love it when I get a good chance to like to visually show you guys why we pull out slowly. Ooh, that actually turned out good. Oh, you can't see it yet. Wait until it's dry. Oh, oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I, oh gosh. I touched the dirty end of the orange stick on the pinky. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. Acetone, extremely slightly damp brush. Extremely slightly. It's still there. Man. I've, I've pulled some of it off. Like, I don't want to leave a hole there. Not how I wanted to get more green onto the design. I probably should stop. I probably should stop right there, but I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to regret it. Okay, I didn't regret it. It's okay. <sighs> One more. Oh. 
Okay. Okay? Okay. One more. One carefully more. Okay, I'm I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. <sighs> stopping. Stopping while I'm ahead. Look how smart I am, y'all. We got two more nails to go. Oh, let's be a little bit more careful. That was a dumb mistake. Just like the bump into the side was a dumb mistake. A rookie move, like I said. Stretch. Ta-da. Okay. Good bullseye. Oop, dirty stick. Hair on the stick. Okay. Toward the center. Mm -hmm. Opposite, counterclockwise, tight spiral. Okay. Mm. 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 Fuck it, go. I think literally every dip I've said, I don't know, after the dip. Mm, pop the bubbles. Capture the bubble polish. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Hey, yo. Um, mostly okay. Couple small problems. Mostly okay. Oh. oh, okay. Not a good peel. One more to go. One more. Or maybe two more, but probably one more. Or probably th maybe three more, but probably one more. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to be hiding from you. Let's pull this out. Stretch. A little bit of stretch. Oh. Well, extra drop of blue. We shall apply the easiest fix once again. Like now. Toward the center again. Get that out of there. Clockwise, tight spiral. Ooh. 
actual dry spot. Okay, last dip. I think oh my god just do it just go just mm, go oh uh, I need to drink a little water oh that bubble floated right up That was a good one. Oh. Okay. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I gotta pull it together and finish this. Get some food. What time is it? Oh, it's almost 10. Okay, I was thinking it was like 9 something. I mean, I guess it technically is 9 something, but it's it's more of a 9 something than I realized. I guess that initial hour of additional testing is kind of catching up with me. Okay, we'll close these up so we don't make any mistakes. I'm not redoing that one because guess what? Right now we just we just hit that wall. We just hit that. Hey, I'm ready to be. I'm ready to be done now, and we're not done. So we're just we're just gonna make progress toward being done. And not make our lives harder than they need to be over small things that aren't important. This is advice that could carry you through many areas of life. Because as people, we suck at that. Music out, relatable. Is there anybody that's never felt deja vu? And then you're like, what are you people talking about? Like, sometimes deja vu or, or like recognizing that you feel deja vu and remembering in the deja vu also recognizing having it like this is not even the first time you've had deja vu of this exact deja vu um yeah relatable or we're all in the matrix i mean you know <laughs> mm. Okay, we'll get some of this, we'll get the camera going, we'll get in close with our little brush. Don't think I'm going to need to worry about under the nail tips, because they look pretty clean. Except for this one for some reason. Okay, clean up brush. Let me take just one more short minute here actually before I dive right back into this. <laughs> yeah. Deja, deja vu is a weird experience because it's like you have like that time travel moment or you have that like life repeating itself moment or you have that premonition moment. Like which is it? Am, am, did I did, did I premonote? Premonish? That's not, that's premonition is not a word, but like, did I like see this coming and that's why it feels like deja vu? Am I a time traveler and that's why it feels like deja vu? Or has, has this same situation just happened to happen before? I don't know. Yeah, I actually, like I actually did for a minute feel lightheaded and I'm like, well, you dumb bitch, like take a minute and like have a drink of water and stop leaning directly over nail polish fumes for like five seconds. Probably be like a great idea. Yeah, amethyst. 
Like, wait, this is exactly how I dreamed that this was going to go down. Yeah, I didn't remember that I dreamed this, but I did. You guys want to be a little bit closer for cleanup? A little bit closer. You can't be too close for the marbling because then you can't see. So we're, we're leaving that. It's fine. I, I think I did a pretty good job cleaning that up. Like, I can still see that something happened there, but it's not, like, glinting, glaringly green any longer. Um, the thumbs are sick. This thumb is the most green that's on any singular nail. Um, and the rest of the right hand, like, the, the, the index nail came out, like, almost, like, at a slight angle compared to the others, if that makes sense. Like, I caught more of a side of the circle than like a top of a circle maybe I don't know I'm I'm digging it I do feel a little bit like the hands are not consistent between each other like I feel like the left hand mostly matches the left hand and the right hand mostly matches the right hand do you think it's because I did the spiral in the other direction that I was drawing it slightly differently or just dipping slightly differently because it's my right hand got quite a bit of green on this one too camera hmm um <laughs> broccoli now that's the sort of thing where it's like is the smell coming into your dream and influencing your dream oh wow music i mean that's like oddly specific oh My ear itches and like I can't just like get in there with with not fully dry nails and like actually itch ear. <laughs> yeah. Actual premonitions. Ooh, spooky music. <clears throat> Once you've finished all your nails, you can go ahead and clean up. If you have any larger patches, you can use a Q-tip. And to get in close, I'm using a small brush dipped in acetone. Now, as it often does seem to come down to, since I'm often using the polishes for water marbling or something, these seem like they're cleaning up quite well. So that's nice. I'm I'm not surprised because they're none of them are terribly dark or like strongly strongly pigmented, and like pr literally every hollow taco polish so far that's like pigmented does clean up well. So worth noting also as usual with loud background noises that I cannot control if you can hear the fire engine I apologize and also the ambulance helicopter again <laughs> the other night I could hear actually a train while I was playing choo-choo and I was like what is actually happening here like why can I hear a train I don't live by any train tracks to clarify I was like, what train tracks am I even hearing a train on? But sometimes, like, the air just, like, sounds travel more. A couple of these, too, have some black that I was slightly messy with but you guys already know how much I love the black and how easy that is to clean up unlike any and all blacks that have come before it
I thought I had gotten most of my big spots, but then I see that, in fact, I was wrong. Mm. All right. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Watching the cleanup, it is pretty satisfying. I mean, and it makes... You know, like, okay, haha, that's cool, but it's messy. But then it's like, ooh, look at you. Got a lot more bubbles on my right hand. That's interesting. Was it because of going slightly slower? Was it because of drawing the spiral in the opposite direction? Was it something to do with the way that I dip my right hand? I'm at, am I at more of an angle? Less of an angle? I don't know. I do not know. But I definitely notice the difference. I mean, that's... It's like several nails worth. More than... More than just seems like a coincidence. Anna thank you I I really love how these turned out they're super super pretty also can I so you get more of the pink here more of the purple here Ugh, I'm really gonna have to work to capture the multi-chrome the different multi-chrome angles I think there you can kind of see like the purple to teal one shifting a lot like all of a sudden, like the more, like from there, it looks like very much purpley. The green, of course, too. Oh, they're so cool. <laughs> from mid wing to late wing. No, not, I, like late wing sounds like what is when you're like eating your leftover candy. Maybe, maybe we're now in like near ween. <laughs> yeah. I do declare it near ween. <laughs> yeah, very galaxy. Which is kind of funny because I feel like almost every Hollow Taco collection somehow becomes like instant galaxy. How can they all be instant galaxy? <laughs> They're just that good. Or galaxies are just that beautiful and uh, diverse also. Like there's not just like one kind of galaxy looking nail. But yeah, I am a big fan of galaxy done in these kind of tones. When I was looking for my, a case for my fire, like some of them I was looking at was galaxy. And I was always like kind of just vaguely displeased with the galaxy colors that they chose like dude hmm. all weens eve eating candy is post ween maybe, maybe late ween is running to walgreens on halloween day to get candy because you were counting on halloween being canceled and then halloween wasn't canceled and you don't have any candy <laughs> I feel like I feel like this uh, Halloween season was a missed opportunity for somebody to come up with with a, a mass marketed candy shoot that was easy to set up at your home at your own home or like some kind of giant lazy Susan device. That would be kind of cool. Like something on a long pole with a little bowl on the end and then you could spin it, spin it out to your trick-or-treaters and spin it back to yourself. Or even just like an extra long ass grabber arm with like maybe like a set of legs in the middle to like balance it. <laughs> Yeah, All Hallows' Eve and then also like Day of the Dead after Halloween.
All right, let's get these cuticles. Then we'll press these bubbles as flat as we possibly can. We were talking when we were looking at the tests, like about how the water droplets, I mean, I was trying to make sure I flicked off all my water droplets. So I don't think these bubbles are left over from that, especially because they appear to be air bubbles because they're not, they're not flat. See them there? They're little, they're like little nipples. Um, but son, once I press them flat, you'll get, you'll get that raindrop vibe that you were, that you were wanting from the test. Cause the test strips, like I, usually they just end up drying with some water on them. So it's not uncommon for them to get like a little water spotted vibe. Oh wait, Anna, Anna, congratulations. I saw you beat Radiance and I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to see it, but like VODs exist, but like I'm sad that I wasn't there because like I was slacking on on my being on top of whose stream starts when and then like by the time that I remembered that like, hey, Anna's probably streaming, like the title was already, we beat Absred or not Absred Radiance. You don't know who Absred is yet probably, but anyway, congratulations on all that. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. When when you started climbing and and you were like, "What what's happening? What's happening?" And when you got to the top and you shrieked like I oh, like IRL. I was like, "No! Like no! Magic doesn't work. Magic doesn't work." I was like, "No." And then like there wasn't a chance for you to like cuz like, oh, it was it was so good and the instinct was so good, but you got to as, as you learned, you got to end it with a nail hit. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, you know, how would you know? How, how would you know? I mean, the whole game, magic is OP. And then like you, you, if you get, if you manage to get there with some magic, like, why wouldn't you try to magic her all in her face? Oh man. But yeah, I remember it like that. That was one of the like most like literally being pumped full of adrenaline moments I ever had the first time I beat Radiance. Like just that shaking with adrenaline feeling. But yeah, congratulations. That's a that's a huge milestone. I hope you have fun with the Pantheons too. I think you said you were maybe not going to do the Pantheons on stream, but even if you just do them in your own time, like, I don't know. They're, they're definitely not like my favorite part, but I'm glad that I did them. I'm glad that I did them. Okay. Let's make sure these cuticles are nice and even round. We'll do our bubbles. We'll do our top coat. And then I will be able to have dinner. Mmm, dinner. It's later than I planned, though. Like, I was gonna... Okay, so the other day, some of y'all may remember, I was planning on making some ravioli, and I was, like, looking forward to this ravioli. And I made it, and it was not delicious. I was like, eh. So... Like, I, I didn't get to, like, actually satisfy my good pasta craving with good pasta. I got to satisfy my pasta craving with, like, trash pasta. So I need, like, actual good pasta to stop thinking about pasta. And I was thinking I would do that, but now it's, like, late. And I feel lazy. Even though, like, it's not that late for me, because realistically I'm up for... Six to ten more hours. I don't know. It was after eight o'clock yesterday when I got into bed. It's just ridiculous, but I don't know. So anyway, long long story short, my as far as meals go, like ten o'clock still feels late for dinner, and I don't feel like cooking pasta, and I don't know what to do. I suppose I could have a frozen dinner or a frozen pizza dinner, a frozen pizza for dinner. Words. Mm. Meh. Yeah. Yeah, and like charm build is 
Like, I know a couple times, like, you asked for suggestions or what people people thought, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my mouth shut because I feel like... Like, I play a lot of randomizer, which you, you probably know and have noticed, but it's like... there There's very few charms that are actually bad charms. Like, I mean, there's a couple where it's like, ha-ha, <laughs> heavy blow, like, are only useful in, like, extremely particular situations, but... The charms that work best are the ones that like go with your play style and that you actually can use the benefit of. Although I, I am a staunch supporter of shaman 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 stone. Partly just because not only does it amp up your magic so much, but it actually makes fireball bigger, which in certain situations can super super be useful. Okay, so bubbles. We've got a small tiny bubble. On the pinky here. We'll push that flat. As flat as we can. We might we might do two layers of top coat if the bubbles look like they don't want to settle out first layer. Hopefully it just stays flat though. We've got several on the thumb. Like quite a profile on some of these actually. And smoosh it flat. And then you can still see it, but it's not it's not poking up there. And well it might like sometimes they still get weird under top coat, but as long as we're not talking about uh popping, which would leave behind a black hole in the design, like usually it's okay. <clears throat> compass op i mean one of the people who did a, a challenge run did do it with compass on like as a as a floss okay why isn't the like this bubble is refusing to flatten it just keeps like bouncing there we go like it kept bouncing back back up i was trying to pull kind of in the direction of the lines do i hear a bane Thought I heard a bane. Thought maybe he'd come back and join us to see the final product. Small small ones sometimes I feel like they're hard to push flat, but they're just like it's just as important to do the, the small ones as the big ones. I want to stamp with these. If I had had more energy the past couple days, I would have done some stamping with these. Maybe we can well, of course, I want to investigate creating that Labradorite look, too. I don't know. But I, I definitely think these these are stampable. Probably somebody else has already tested it. Perhaps I have to stay in my lane, and my lane is the lane of water marbling. See, like this one, even though I pressed it flat, like it's still poking up there. So that's like, that's not good enough. We gotta press it flatter. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh, I've still got polish. Mm -hmm. There, that's better. Poor little right thumb only has a couple bubbles. Yeah, these little tiny microscopic ones. You just get out of here. All right. <clears throat> We're going to use some of my my uh, super glossy. Which is slightly cloudy. I don't I don't know. Can you guys see if I like Where's like my 
here like here here it is next to the peely base can you see what do i need to if i hold them like yeah there actually you can see see how you can just see right through like the peely base and then the super glossy is just like slightly cloudy oh here we go this is much better I don't think it should really matter, but it's kind of interesting. I don't know why I got like that. I have, this is like two bottles combined. Maybe that plays a part. I don't know. It's obviously like not going to make any difference, but it is something that I noticed. <clears throat> okay. Top do, 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 do. It's actually a little bubble right here on the corner. The poor little peely corner. Okay, let's. Yeah. Oh, I've still got. Sorry. I keep just noticing places that still. have little polish spots on them okay that okay <clears throat> mm, these look really good on the tutorial camera I feel like these would actually look really great matte also if you're a fan of matte because like they're not shiny shiny right now but neither are they matte they're kind of almost satin finish i don't know if that's actually accurate but <clears throat> once you're finished with cleanup you can press flat any bubbles and then i'm gonna go ahead and finish with top coat and today i'm using hollow taco super glossy taco Okay, I know y'all can't see that greatly, but it's great. That was the one we were questioning. It looks so much better with top coat. I'm so glad I didn't redo it. All right. <laughs> Gosh, it's, it's, oh, it's, just, it's, it's so good. Top coat versus no top coat. Ooh, a little small dimple. You gonna settle out there? I'm gonna give it a chance to settle out on the ring finger there. Mm -hmm. 
giant raccoon. Oh. Yeah. The the top coat actually. Are you home musical? The top coat actually does wonderful things. And the top coat, okay, we we can I can still see the smudge. Because of course I can. I think you can kind of see it right there. It's like an interruption in the design. But like actually with top coat on, it's super, super negligible. It bothers me less than that little dimple in the top coat right there, which apparently was from a bubble that wasn't completely flat. Just like we're getting some slight dimples there. They may settle out. They may need another coat of top coat. We'll decide after I do my other hand. Yeah. Oh, I just am so pleased that this turned out. Like I said, I don't know why I was getting nervous about the water marble, but like I legitimately was, but there was nothing to be worried about. Hey, Caters. Welcome. Yeah, some of these, I think, too, the bubbles are going to want to poke through again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah. Please, sir, can I have some more multi-chrome? Mm, okay. It'll be interesting to see if or when we do get more multi-chrome from Christine. Like, she's, she's switched up quite a bit. Anybody that thought hollow taco was only going to be hollow tacos has been proved wrong many times. Mm. I think I'm going to do one more coat just to absolutely smooth everything. And uh, what's this little stringer going on here? And make sure my edges are sealed. Yeah, we were talking about that. That would be that would be a really fast collection. Although, I mean, if you look at the the months and not the actual dates, I mean there are other ooh, other brands that do like a release a month. Okay. I just had to like load that on because I almost like goofed it. And then let's unglom this just a little bit. Unglom. <clears throat> Glad to see you, huh, music gal? Ah, uh, yes, my human cushion is home. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<laughs> My guess would also maybe be that it's a smaller collection, like the like the Menchie Zyler duo. Or, or, and perhaps it would be stretching it to call it a collection, but a lot of people have been wondering where the tools are. If you consider the tools a collection, I mean, that would be a, that could be a, a birthday launch without necessarily being more polish just a couple weeks after releasing more polish. Like I said, if you, if you stretch the definition of collection just a little bit. The tool collection. Um, we'll see. We'll see in a minute. Right now I'm just seeing that nice glossy smooth finish with that bubble gone. We're gonna do the same thing here. Most of them settled out to some extent, but like right there you can still see a little dimple. It depends though. Like sometimes multi-chromes are tricky under under flashlight. Like trickier than I would expect them to be. I'll maybe do a little bit of acetone cleanup too for some of the areas where I glommed. <clears> hmm. <throat> Good night, Sam. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you rest well. Okay. I've got a cat hair. Can you see it? It's kind of invisible. I need to like there it was stuck on my finger because it was coated in polish mm -hmm. and making really sure to well wrap my tips. I mean, I would, I would love for this to wear nicely. Peel off base coat. Well, if you want to wear it for a long time, why do you use a peel off base coat? Well, because of reasons. Because reasons. Oh, like another little fur on there. I'm actually gonna just a little bit here on the underside. That's the one. That's the one that uh, peeled. I'm I'm very nervous about that nail. I like I said. I fully expect it to just flex there, and the whole corner to go. I don't know why I'm even playing games and didn't patch it other than I saw the the nail polish is ready to be over party in my future when it happened. <laughs> Some days I feel like I could just fuck around with nail polish for like hours and hours. Some days we do fuck around with nail polish for hours and hours. <laughs> One little see it at the tip there. Can I stroke that out? If I get enough slightly more extra top coat, stroke like that. I guess we'll see.
And, of course, Poe Lil Right Thumb, who is living their best life, patches and all. Looking beautiful today, Poe Lil Right Thumb. A little bit of there's a little bit of green in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, and too like, it's hard to like keep an eye on everything. It's almost like you have to pick a color, and watch that color shift. Rather than trying to see like the whole entire thing shift. Ooh, that's that's a drastic change. Just going all the way down like that and then coming back. Like it goes from very purpley fuchsia magenta to very blue teal. And that's partly like this, this one, facilitating the change between the two purplier ones and the blue and the green one so when it's like purple it like leans more towards the purple and then it turns like turquoise and then it leans more toward the turquoise and like actually it's really great look, look at the little bit of green green be just <gasps> there are two on the ring finger see the green oh my god it's like can you find the green <clears throat> Thank you, Doc. Did you get your foods? What kind of foods did you get? I wonder if I can also get like... Let's do a little flashlight time. Fish. That actually... Everything sounds good. I'm hungry. Carefully turn this off. Why, why is this cord in the way? Sorry, guys. I, like, can't get the last notch on my lamp because the cord is... Okay. Ooh. Hmm? I'm I'm just trying to figure out like the best ways to I mean y'all can see it shifting and moving. I don't know, maybe there's not a best way. Maybe you just ooh. Oh. Okay, actually that like worked way better than I thought it was going to just like randomly putting my hand in a circle. It it's like fascinating. Yeah, it, and it definitely, like, it has, you want to focus for me, camera, maybe? Probably not. Camera probably does not want to focus for me. Yeah, like, they've got a chrome, like, a, a sparkly chromey texture. Oh, <laughs> that green. Ooh, focus. Like, it shimmers. Yeah, this didn't need hollow. It It's... All, all these together are, like, doing rainbow things on their own. Ooh, look at that almost orange. Ah, oh, we lost our focus. Oh, all right, caters. 
I, I don't I don't know how much longer I'm going to be going and just looking at the different shades of different colors at different angles that this produces. But I'm about to take a dinner break too and I may be back later. I was planning to be back later, but I wasn't planning on this taking until 1030. So, but like worth. Like. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. I just like I mesmerized my my own self. I mesmerized my own self is what happened right there. <laughs> so amethyst, they actually do great under a flashlight. That that's what's going on with these. I uh. Oh, that makes it read a little easier, too. Of course, I was supposed to do that earlier and I forgot. Camera. So, yeah, the bluer side, the purplier side. Blum juicy not fruity juicy but still juicy like fruity juicy is like the rainbow collection camera you wanna actually maybe I should just leave that here while we're outroing and looking for somewhere to send you lovelies camera come on come on for real though for real though Okay. Um, somebody want to pop the Discord link in in chat in case anybody's not in my Discord and they would like to join. Want to take a little looksy poo, looksy poo. Why did why why would that come out of my mouth? Um. Hmm. <laughs> It's not late late so there's lots of people going um <laughs> oh hey baby you back just in time to say goodbye to everybody sir hello who's such a dignified boy mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of, I kind of like that. I like that. Um. God, there's so many people. There's so many. There's so many people streaming. But you know what? It's creative and it's Hollow Knight. Thistle is doodling. And she just doodled in abs rad and it's cute as shit and I'm sending us over there. So, thank you also, Amethyst. Yeah, I am going to rate us over to Thistle. I am going to do my intro and outro. Because if I don't do that, then I forget about it and then I end up chipping a nail because of course I do. Um, and then I'm gonna find myself a dinner and then I'm gonna see what time it is. I, I kind of want to do another stream, but I'm also like quite low energy. So I, I'm not sure, but regardless of what, okay, I'm doing that clapping thing again, regardless of whether I'm back tonight, tomorrow is NES night. I'm gonna be scooting my CRT a little closer. I'm gonna be plugging in the Nintendo Entertainment System and we're gonna be doing some Mario and some other Mario and some Dr. Mario and some Tetris. Um, accompanied by a, a suitable adult beverage. Uh, maybe I'll even put on a timer for Mario, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just not worry about that sort of thing. I, I don't know exactly. We'll We'll see how it goes. And, uh, like, I haven't put, like, a time limit on anything. I'm not sure if the whole actual entire night will be Nintendo, but there will be a good 
portion of Nintendo. We about to, we about to be looking for them long boys, Ego. Like Tetris is one of my jams. Uh, all classic, original hardware, etc. <laughs> like I'm really that cool. No, I'm not. But uh, I hope you can show up for that if possible. I hope you have a great rest of your day today, and I'm glad you all enjoyed. Catch you later. Head on over here to Thistle. <laughs> and of course, if you are in the future on YouTube checking this out, I hope you enjoyed. Um, the tutorial will also be soon. Camera, do you want to just like cooperate with me for two more seconds while I do an outro? Um, if you would like to subscribe here on YouTube, please feel free. And if you'd like to join me live for nail art, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Uh, there will be a link to the edited tutorial as well, somewhere around here, if you'd like to check that out, um, as well as the initial impressions of the collections from yesterday, unboxing, swatches, couple comparisons, etc. cetera. Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoyed. And of course, thanks for watching. <laughs>